Hi everyone, this is Mark and welcome to Met Review Center. For this video, we will be answering 20 questions that will provide rationalization that would actually help you pass and ace the licensure exam for professional teachers. Now, let us begin. For the first question, it is a visual model that contains levels of experiences arranged based on the level of abstraction. A, level of abstract experience. B, SAMR model. C, Dale's cone of experience. D, TPAC framework. The answer here is letter C, the Dale's cone of experience. As shown in the slide, the Dale's Cone of Experience is a graphical representation which has 10 stages. It is actually proposed by Edgar Dale. So we can see here that starting from the concrete experience at the bottom, then it becomes more abstract as it reaches the peak of the cone. Next question. The following are examples of an active experience except so the answer here is letter C, reading and writing research. In the threefold analysis as proposed by Jerome Brunner, he reorganized the Dale's Cone of Experience into three experiences, the inactive experience, iconic experience, and symbolic experience. The inactive experience refers to the direct experiences such as direct purposeful experience, contrived experience and dramatized experience. On the other hand, the iconic experience pertains to the pictorial experiences such as demonstrations, field trips, exhibits, motion pictures, etc. Lastly, the symbolic experience refers to highly abstract experiences such as visual and verbal symbols. Since doing a research involves reading and writing, it will fall under the symbolic experience. The goal of integrating technology in the instruction is letter A, interactive, meaningful, and collaborative learning. B, solitary and self-helping. C, inefficiency of teachers. D, disregard development of creative and critical thinking. The answer here is letter A, interactive, meaningful, and collaborative learning. Why? Because we can observe that most of the choices here are negative. One of the reasons why we integrate technology in the teaching and learning process is to make the students active in constructing knowledge, to have a meaningful experience, and to still work together despite geographical differences. Next, which of the following statements pertains to educational technology? A, use of spreadsheet to compute for business sales. B, watching videos to ease boredom. C, use of air conditioning system to teach temperature. D, surfing the internet to search for a lifetime partner. So the answer here is letter C, use of air conditioning system to teach temperature. You must remember that educational technology is actually the application of technology in the teaching learning process. In the given choices, there is only one scenario that the technology was used to transfer knowledge, which is letter C. Then the others were used for business, to ease boredom, and to search for lifetime partner which are not related to education. Next question. Which of the computer-based system instructional tool can help you revise written work such as short stories and essays? A, word processor, B, database, C, spreadsheet, or letter D, desktop, publishing? The answer here is actually letter A, word processor. As we all know, 
word processor is used to process textual information such as paragraphs, pages, or maybe an entire paper. Next question. Which of the following activity integrates technology to education? Letter A, technology is mostly being used by the instructor. B, technology is mostly being used by the students. C, technology is used purely for the sake of using technology. D, technology is used to complete lower order thinking class. So the answer here, the answer for this question is letter B. So technology is mostly being used by the students. You have to remember that integration is when students can construct their own knowledge using technology instead of passive learning. Next. Yeah. So next question, which rationale of the use of technology is attributed to engagement? A, using technology transforms the teacher from the authority expert to facilitator when the students are guided to use technology to find answers online. B, students are transformed from passive re recipients of the teacher's knowledge seeking and knowledge construction. C, students using technology become active in the learning process instead of passive listeners. D, the internet provides access to an incredible array of information sources, media, and communications. So the answer here is letter C. So students using technology become active in the learning process instead of passive listeners. So one of the purposes of technology integration is to promote engagement. And engagement is when the students actively, you know, actively work and investigate to learn rather than depending on the lectures or discussions of the teachers. Next, teacher Angel wants to supplement learning for her SPED class. Which of the following may she utilize as a supplemental material? A, magazine articles. B, mass instruction. C, use LCD projectors. D, use slides. So the answer here is letter A, magazine articles. C and letter D are audiovisual devices and mass instruction, which is letter B, is an approach in learning. Next, teacher Mira will borrow audiovisual aids from the library. Which of the following should be removed from her requisition form? A, motion pictures, B, television, C, videotape, D, specimen. So the answer here is letter D, specimen. So which is a piece or a sample of something that is meant for scientific study. For an instance, um, medical students extracts blood from the patients to check its components. So the blood is an example of a specimen. On the other hand, the other choices, which are A, B, and C, are examples of audio-visual devices or tools. Next slide. Sir Joey is a grade 4 and 5 teacher in Polilio, Quezon. The place has a ration of electricity which is switched only from 2 p.m. until 6 a.m. the following day. The topic he has for his lesson this week is all about the different bodies of water. Which audiovisual material should he use for the lesson? So the answer here is letter D, pictures. Since Sir Joey would not have an electricity to operate digital tools such as PowerPoint presentation, video film, and transparencies, so the, his only option is the pictures. So he can show pictures to his students. 
Next, one of the technological competencies in 21st century teaching and learning is the integration of blank devices. Letter A, digital, B, analog, C, audiovisual, or D, mechanical. So the answer here is letter A, digital devices. Integration of technological competencies in the 21st century teaching and learning can only be done through uh, using digital devices. Next slide. Performing science experiments or performing experiments in science laboratory is an example of letter A, direct purposeful experience, B, contrived experience, C, exhibit, or D, dramatized experience. So the answer for this question is letter A, direct purposeful experience. Why? Because performing science experiments require the use of our senses. It can be done as contrived experience or simulation, but direct experience is more effective. Science experiments can neither be done through dramatized experience, which is also role-playing, nor through exhibit. Next. Mr. Gregorio, a grade nine teacher, wants to stimulate students' participation on a topic regarding family conflict. Which of the following activities he should employ? A, photos, B, PowerPoint presentation, C, graph and charts, or letter D, role playing. So the answer here is letter D, role playing. Here, we are actually looking for an activity that would elicit participation among students, which is letter D, role-playing. Next question. Rule of six is followed by teacher Maricar whenever she is creating her PowerPoint presentation. Most likely, she will A, limit her presentation to six slides with six sentences on each slide, B, identify six important points to discuss and use about six minutes to explain each point. Letter C, have six lines on each slide and each line have not more than six words. D, include six paragraphs presented in six slides. So the answer here is letter C, have six lines on each slide have not more than six words. So example is shown on the next slide. So as seen in the example, which is shown on your screen, there are only six sentences or lines on the slide. And each sentence or line must not exceed six words. This is to ensure that text will be visible and readable for the audience. Next. Mr. Pasqual will, will discuss global warming to his grade five students. He wants to ensure that the students will be interested. He needs to A, put animation and slide transition on each slide to sustain attention. B, include pictures and a short video clip that ensures the effects of the global warming. C, Use a different slide design with nature images for each slide to sustain interest. D, put one paragraph per slide to emphasize the facts about global warming. So the answer for this question is letter B, include pictures and short video clip that captures the effects of global warming. Putting such will engage the students and will provide them visual experience of the problem. Next, 21st century learning suggests the following except one. Is it letter A, learning environment is beyond the walls of the classroom? B, there are multiple approaches in teaching. C, teachers are ICT equipped. 
or letter D, learners are attuned to rote memorization. So the answer here is actually letter D. So all of the choices are characteristics of 21st century learning except, except for promoting rote memorization. Next, Teacher Levy found a mobile app that he can use in teaching mathematics. He ensures that the app is good in appearance, arranged according to level of difficulty, and icons accurately represent what it intends to represent. Which criteria is he considering? A, accuracy, B, organization, C, appropriateness, D, motivation. So the answer here is letter B, organization. Since we are checking or Sir Levy is checking for the appearance of the app, he ensures that the contents of the app are arranged according to its difficulty and the icons represent, well, what it tends to represent. So the answer here is letter B, organization. Next, Mrs. De La Cruz applies her pedagogical knowledge in teaching science when letter A looks into the characteristics and interests of the learners in order to choose activities that would match them, B studies how to attach a video to her audio video presentation, C researches further on plasmas, another state of matter, or letter D, learns how to scan pictures to include in her presentation. So the answer here is letter A. So here we are looking for the pedagogical knowledge. If we say pedagogical knowledge, we are referring to the knowledge of the teachers about the art and the science of teaching, particularly the approaches, methods, and principles of teaching and learning, including the theories and principles behind it. So the answer here is letter A, when Mrs. De La Cruz is identifying the nature of her learners and match them with appropriate activities. Letter B and D are examples of technological knowledge because we can see here the skill of the teacher on how to use digital tools. On the other hand, letter C pertains to the content knowledge of the teacher, which is, if we, if we are going to define content knowledge, it is the solid understanding of the teacher about his or her subject matter. So this principle was actually discussed in the TPAC framework proposed by Punya Mishra and Matthew J. Kowler. Next. So it is the term used to describe the search of articles through accessing various devices in a computer connected to other computer via telephone line. A, compact disk search. B, computer search. C, online search. D, manual search. So the answer here is letter C, online search. Since the searching was facilitated using multiple computers, connected through a telephone line, which can we, we can assume as the internet. So yeah, that ends our video lecture. So for more information, you can also browse the other videos in our MET mobile app for other content. Thank you so much and God bless you all.